any good bucket list should have at least one item that requires us to slow down and experience deeply, to savor, to take the time to master the knowledge and skills to fully appreciate that experience's unique complexities, its tradition, environment, as well as taste. That item could be anything. Here, we are attempting to decipher Bordeaux's famous red wine blends to unravel what for many is synonymous with quality, right here in Bordeaux, first hand. But for you, it might be something completely different. So choose something you won't mind spending time learning to appreciate. Bordeaux's relationship with its river, the Garonne, has for centuries defined its character. From this port, ships have carried clarets north to England and beyond. And while wine has been crafted in the region since Roman times, it was the local merchants, responding to market tastes, who shaped what we know today as the Bordeaux blends. A visit to the Cité du Vin, a museum dedicated to the crafting of great wines, makes it clear, however, that a great wine is more than cunning commerce and access to transport. So let's leave the city that gave this wine its name and investigate the countryside where the grapes are grown and made into wine. The confluence of the Garonne and the Dordogne rivers is the epicenter of the Bordeaux wine growing region. The right bank is characterized by limestone and clay, soils that retain moisture and have a cooling effect on the vines. Merlot and Cabernet Franc varietals do well here. The left bank is predominantly gravel, alluvial deposits from the Pyrenees brought north by the Garonne. The stone pebbles absorb the heat and aid the ripening of the grapes. Cabernet Sauvignon thrives here. An initial survey of the area can be daunting, with numerous chateaux clamoring for attention, but it is possible to cluster wine production into five distinct winemaking districts. The Medoc produces premier Cabernet Sauvignon based blends. Cote de Bordeaux creates Merlot and Cabernet Franc blends. Saint Emilion and Pomerol produce famous and expensive premium Merlot-based blends. Entre du Mer, literally meaning between the rivers, is considered the poor cousin and produces a varied mix of wines, including some white wine varietals. Grave, literally gravel, creates excellent Cabernet-based blends. But let's get down on the ground and investigate just one of these districts, saint Emilion. The soils around the village of saint Emilion are characterized by fossil-rich limestone. The climate mild and the chateau here create Merlot-based blends. Cabernet Franc dominant blends, however, are not unheard of, while Malbec and Cabernet Sauvignon play supporting roles. The village of saint Emilion has been associated with wine production for over 2,000 years, yet its name has nothing to do with wine. An 8th century hermit lived in the surrounding limestone caves, performed miracles, and in time turned the village into a Benedictine religious center. On his death, the village took his name. In 1999, UNESCO identified Saint Emilion, the vineyards, and the village as a World Heritage Site. Video is hardly the ideal medium for a tasting but there comes a point when you need to stop intellectualizing and rather experience. So here are three local samples. This selection of Saint Emilion wines was sourced from a bottle store in South Africa, a popular supermarket chain in Bordeaux, and from a French wine expert. They range in price significantly. The internationally assembled tasting panel had this to say on each. Chateau Puy Grazac. A rounded Merlot and silky Cabernet Franc blend. The panel scored it an 8 out of 10. The Vieux Chateau Chambord. The supermarket special offered good value. It was bold, but strongly tannic. The panel awarded it a 6. Chateau Guillamine La Gaffelière. Our senior panel expert waxed lyrical, claiming 
consoling depths, speaking of summers long past. It scored a nine. Briefly investigated Bordeaux's tradition, terroir, and taste. Can I tick this item off the list? No, currently this journey has no end in sight, but I would strongly recommend you find such a bucket list item.